Hello traders, in this video I will show you what is market structure and how you can make a lot of money using this simple concept. Let's transform your trading game and maximize your earnings as I unravel the simplicity behind this concept, so don't miss out. Watch this video till the end. Welcome to our series where I'll break down the smart money concept introduced by Inner Circle Traders ICT. Today, we're diving into our first chapter, Market Structure and Market Trend. How do you determine if the market is in an uptrend or downtrend? To find out, we first need to understand market structure. Market structure are the patterns and footprints which are built on charts by price action. It is the behavior, condition, and current flow of the market. Now, if I draw a price pattern like this, what do you see? Is it going up or down? Clearly, it's going up. How can you tell? because the price keeps making higher highs and higher lows. In an uptrend, the key is that the price consistently breaks its previous higher highs while keeping the higher lows intact. Remember, in an uptrend, the rule is that the price should never break its higher lows. Similarly, look at this drawing. Is the price going up or down? Clearly, it's going down. How can you tell? Because the price is forming lower highs and lower lows. In a downtrend, the crucial point is that the price should consistently break its lower lows while maintaining its lower highs. Remember, in a downtrend, the rule is that the price should never break its lower highs. In real-life chart analysis, it's not as simple as my drawings. The charts can be tricky because of what we call noise. On smaller timeframes, you'll notice a lot of unnecessary price movements that can confuse you and make it challenging to clearly identify the trend. Now, imagine this drawing that I'm showing you is in a 1 hour time frame. If we switch to a 5 minute time frame, you'll notice the price movement looks something like this. Now, I'll sketch a price pattern that closely resembles the actual market's movement. Can you figure out the current market trend? It can be confusing, right? In such situations, it's helpful to map out your highs and lows to gain a clearer understanding of the market. Suppose this is our higher high, and once price broke this level, this is your new higher high, and this is your higher low. Now once price breaks its higher high, you just need to see from this point, and just look for the lowest point beneath it, and there you have your higher low. Now as we discussed before, in an uptrend the price consistently breaks its previous higher highs while keeping the higher lows intact. Now in this situation, you can see, this is the higher low, and this is, the higher high. Now tell me, once price made the higher high, did it come back and break its higher low? The answer is no. Price went up and broke its higher high. So once price crossed its higher high, you just need to look down from this point, and see, which is the lowest point below this. Obviously it's this point. So this becomes your new higher low and this is your new higher high. Now, tell me, after making this new higher high, did price come down and break its higher low? If we draw a straight line from this previous higher low, you will see, price never crossed this level. It went back and broke the previous higher high. So, this makes our new higher high, and if you go down from here, this is our new higher low. In summary, looking at this chart, we can see that price action can be confusing. It's wise to plot out your market structure to get a clear idea of the current market trend. Now, let's look at an example of a downtrend market. You just need to do the same. Plot out your market structure. So this is your lower low, and if we go up from this point, which is the highest point above this? It's this point right here, so it becomes our new lower high. Now as we discussed before, in a downtrend the price should consistently break its lower lows while maintaining its lower highs. So after breaking the lower low, price started moving up from this point, making this our new lower low. And once this lower low has been broken again somewhere around here, we just need to go up from this point and see which is the highest point above this level. It is this one. So this is your new lower high. Similarly, let us draw the remaining lower lows and lower highs. So that is how you draw the market structure in a downtrend market. Now, let's dive into an advanced concept. If we're in an uptrend, the price should keep breaking its higher highs. When those higher highs are broken, it's called a break of structure. 
Conversely, in a downtrend, if the lower lows are broken, that's also a break of structure. Now, in this uptrend, if the price for the very first time breaks its higher low, something significant happens. It tends to shift in the opposite direction, creating a cascade of new lower lows and lower highs. This marks a crucial turning point, the point where the market direction changes for the first time is called a change of character. Once you recognize a valid change of character zone, be mindful that the price could shift its market trend. This awareness can be crucial in preventing significant losses in your trading career. In summary, both the break of structure and the change of character play a crucial role in identifying the market trend. Imagine this is a one-hour chart and the price is steadily moving up. It's easy to identify an uptrend. However, if we focus on a smaller part, let's say the five-minute chart in this section, what do you observe? The price appears to move down. In a shorter time frame, it's in a downtrend, but the overall trend is upward. In this five-minute chart, the price was consistently making higher highs, and then it shifts suddenly. You can notice a change of character right here. The price starts going down. How do we know when the price shifts back to an uptrend? Look for another change of character, usually happening at the bottom. At this point, the price begins to move back to its main uptrend. Many traders often make a mistake by entering trades around here when they see a trend line break. But the problem is knowing when to exit. They end up placing their stop losses around this area, and what happens next? The price changes direction right here, shooting up and hitting their stop loss. This is a common mistake. Don't rush into a trade just because you see a trend line break. It's crucial to know when to exit and how long to hold the trade. We'll delve into this in upcoming chapters, making it clearer. For now, focus on identifying the market trend in a one-hour chart, a higher time frame. Imagine the price is going up on a one-hour chart. Now, suppose it comes back down to this part, and you notice a change of character around this level. At this point, you understand the market is in an uptrend, aligning with the major trend. So, consider taking a trade around this change of character. Anticipate the price breaking the higher high level and set your profit target accordingly, maybe above this level. When the price starts to drop, exit your position. Your profit is what you make between these points. It's a simple setup, not a trading recommendation, but it gives you an idea of executing trades. As we cover the remaining chapters, you'll see how understanding market structure can guide your trades. Now let us see how you can plot these market structures in real-life charts. This is currently our Euro USD. So somewhere around here, right here you're seeing that market is in a downtrend okay so how can you identify that price has broken this level this is your a breakout structure right here so this was your low low go back up from here and see which is the highest point is it this one this one this one or this one obviously it's this one so this is your high low because price has crossed this portion right here so this will be your high low and now once price has broken down from here i suppose this is a change of character so now market is in a downtrend from this point market has gone up from here you can see price is making a break of structure so this is the highest point is this one this is your lower high because it is lower than the previous high this is your lower low similarly this is your new lower low this is your new lower high and you will see price is continuously making a break of structure right here again price went down and again price went up so we will draw something like this this is your break of structure this is your lower high right here this portion like this is a one straight line okay if you're drawing lines then this will be your one straight line for example suppose price went like this so here you need to draw straight lines you need you don't need to see your in betweens this one will be your new low low new low low and from here at this point you are seeing like for, for the first time there is a change of character right here okay change of character so price is now making a higher high once you see price is like like taking out its higher highs from this point you go down and see which is the lowest point is it this point this point or this point obviously it's this point so this is your new higher low now from here you can identify like the market is currently going up you can see here this was your higher low correct 
did market cross this no price somewhere from this point went down and currently went and break this portion also so now from here onwards it is a break of structure this was your higher high and once this has been established you just go down to the lowest point which is this one this is your new higher low so this is how you identify what is your market trend okay so now currently this is your new higher high okay higher high you don't know where is your higher low until this point gets taken out so in these type of situations where should you take trades let me just explain it to you like once you have established your change of character for example if i am looking at this situation right here if i go down to like the 15 minute chart in the smaller time frame we need to see a change of character right here this was the high lower high once price crossed this this is your lower low price went up couldn't take out this price went down after crossing this this is your new lower high again this is your lower low right here and once price crossed this this is your change of character right here you know price is currently moving in uptrend in a higher time frame now you can see clearly like in a shorter time frame also price has changed its character and now price can move upwards so what you can do here is that once this establishes then like wait for a pullback and take an entry right you can just go to your stop loss right here and you know like price will again cross its higher high so you can uh, like uh, put your target somewhere like here and now if we just move back a little you can clearly see you got a good risk to reward in the next video We'll demonstrate how you can apply this market structure theory to earn money in the real life stock market. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more episodes in this series and hit the like button if you found this video informative. See you in the next one.